Hi everyone, and welcome back to our Apple Shortcuts course. Today, we will be delving into how to use APIs with shortcuts. API stands for Application Programming Interface, which is simply a way for applications to communicate with each other. With APIs, you can accomplish tasks that the Shortcuts app cannot do alone. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to use a simple API to extend Apple Shortcuts. Let's get started. We will be building a shortcut to demonstrate the use of an API. Our shortcut today will download a random nature wallpaper and use it to set your home and lock screens. Let's create a new shortcut and name it Random Wallpaper. First, we need to add the action Get Contents of URL. In the URL field, we add the URL for our API. Today, we are using Wallhaven's free wallpaper API. I have already prepared the API URL based on Wallhaven's documentation. Next, let's add a get item from list action. First item is already populated and we will leave it as is. We can see that the results from our get contents of URL is already populated in the action. Wallhaven's documentation says the API returns a JSON dictionary. So we can change the get contents of URL to the dictionary type. And then we can specify the data key. This action will ensure that we only get the first random photo that the API returns. Let's add our next action. We search for get dictionary value. This action will get a value from the JSON dictionary that was returned by the API. In this case, we want to get the path value. This action will give a URL linking to the new wallpaper. Next, let's add another get contents of URL action to fetch the image. Finally, we add a set wallpaper action to set the wallpaper. And that's it. The shortcut is complete. Let's run the shortcut. We almost immediately see a privacy warning asking for permission to contact the API. We choose Allow. After the download is complete, we are presented with a preview of the wallpaper. We can customize the screen, tap Cancel to exit, or tap Done to set the wallpaper. Each time we run the shortcut, we will get a new random wallpaper. That's all for today's lesson. Thanks for participating. Until next time, keep creating shortcuts.